This week we got our tractor, we went to pick up the Airstream which didn't work out great, Telus tried to give us a new phone line, and we had a nice surprise of a heavy dump of snow. And ended it all off with a lovely winter solstice walk through the forest. Hello and welcome. My name's Joby, and our family have been on a journey to seek out a more fulfilling life. We sold our much-loved home in the city and moved to a farm on Vancouver Island where we hope to live a more sustainable existence. It's a huge transition for us and we know it will have its share of challenges. But we're excited and we're ready for this new chapter in our quest to chase the good life. Thanks for joining us and we look forward to sharing our stories with you. today because we've got the internet showing up we hope wow 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 um it's not going to be super fast internet but at least we can actually phone out and do stuff um the airstream is supposed to show up this morning as well any minute um and most importantly what i'm most excited about is our tractor shows up today and um hopefully Hopefully it's all I hoped it would be. Um, so yeah, I can get the fire started and the family will probably slowly be waking up and make some coffee and um, wait to hear the rumble of trucks coming down the road. It's a cold one today, minus something. Um, we are going to meet the tow truck driver to pick up the second Airstream. I don't know why I bought two Airstreams, but it did, and it's coming. Uh, the only problem is, is we don't have cell service still, so for all I know, the tow truck driver's trying to get hold of me. Can't get hold of me, might have canceled, so we'll find out when we get up over the hill. So let's go on another adventure. Stream number two. Oh boy. She's a big one. Hey, Gabe. We should call this one whale and the other one orca. Maybe this one blue whale. What have I done? Let's take a look at this baby. It's called a, it's called a land yacht. You know what a yacht is? No, because... Oh, let's have a look inside of this. When I saw this, it was all being moved in. I'm not a fan of this wood paneling everywhere, and his construction skills are perfect to be designed. Frozen? What's up with it? It's um, ice in there? I don't know. I'm just gonna have a look see. Oh geez. There's a rat's nest. Yeah. That's just being fussy because it's just frozen, but that's okay, that's not the problem. The problem is, is this switch, this is the switch that makes it go up and down to like to yeah. get into it. Yeah. That doesn't seem to be responding. I just had this in getting fixed too. Oh there we go. No, it's that's the tilt. See that that'll tilt, see how it's on an angle right now? Oh, but it isn't the whole thing's no, not lowering. That's oh, let me get my hammer. Even doubt, grab a hammer. Even doubt, grab a hammer. 
Last Sunday, because I start my shift Sunday, it was Sunday to Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. Last Sunday, the tilt wasn't working. Yeah. So it was in the shop, got fixed. Yeah. And I haven't used it, and then I got it back, haven't used it since then. Yeah, because you trust that they would. I trust that they fixed it, but now it's as though they did something to the middle one. In the middle. Good clock with a hammer. Yeah. <laughs> All this. It's kind of like a starter. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's full of. Do you want me to? Yeah, try that. You gotta hit the button at the same. Fucking drag. Walking out from All right. Okay, buddy. I'll talk to you in a bit. Sorry Thanks. about that. No worries. So you go. <laughs> Nothing is simple. But what a nice guy. Everyone we've met here in Courtney has been terrific. Kind of just, you know easy going even though he's having a bad day for sure so yeah we're not gonna be bringing this home right now so I'm patiently waiting for the tow truck hasn't shown yet tell us haven't shown yet flatbed with my tractor hasn't shown yet one thing I've noticed um, is that being kind of cut off from the world you have to have a sense of surrender um, I think when you have the ability to be able to phone you can apply pressure, but it ends up stressing everybody out. And really on the grand scheme of things, if it doesn't show up today, what is the big deal? But um, I've just noticed that. And it probably gets more so the more you're cut off, the more you get, the more surrendered you are. Um, so I've been walking around this morning. As you can see, the snow is gently falling. It's about minus four today. And just been walking around and kind of getting my bearings um, with with the lay of the land you know we've got all of this space and we've got lots of things we want to do and things that aren't in the place that I prefer or like um, and so for me I have a very photographic mind I can kind of picture a structure when it's not there I can picture it there um, and it's just a something I've been able to use even in my business you know tell people I kind of envision this and they can't see it but I can totally see it uh, behind me we've got five acre, uh, three acres or two and a half acres maybe three of just forest it is very kind of spindly and low lying because we're very close to the ocean so i think the wind coming in it's the same when i grew up in england a lot of the coastal um, foliage and trees were very very low because they kind of had to get resilient for that offshore wind um, i'm not sure how much of that we want to kind of explore and reclaim it might be nice to cut some trails in there maybe put a yurt back there um, and the kids have just called me, so I got to go in. It's interesting. I, this new chapter of my life, I've really wanting to make a conscious effort to do the things that are actually most important. You know, when you when you're on your deathbed, gonna get dark here. You're not gonna wish that you had built that thing, or cleared that land, or created that thing. You're probably gonna wish you spent more time doing things like picking out a Christmas tree opening doing things watching a movie with the kids it's amazing how the kids when they're watching a movie they really want mom and dad there even though they're not you're not it's just a sense of interest and connection and I haven't been all that great at doing that because I've been so I'm such a creative artist and I think artists are quite selfish in nature um, um, and so I really want to make a conscious effort to try and pause and walk away from what I'm now doing, which is wandering around the property, which I really enjoy, go inside, spend time with the family, because um, those are the things that are the most important. Very, very clear, but do we often do them? Often we don't, and I, I often don't. I often revert to my selfish nature, which is doing what I want to do, which in my head I think, well, I'm doing it for everybody else, but no, the family just want you. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do now. Thanks for listening to my rambles. I hear the sound of a truck. It is the sound of our tractor coming. What do you think, Gabe? Gabe! <laughs> oh 
Oh, dog it. Got the mower on the front, we got forks, we got a bucket. We are ready. Ready for action. Okay, go. Yeah. Yeah. Got it, Buckaroo. What do you think? You like it? Yeah. See it? Is it going to be your new toy? Or daddy's toy? But I can use it. Well. Yeah. Well, tell us came and tell us went and tell us didn't deliver what they said they would. Uh, unfortunately, the they call it the copper line, which is old school Wi-Fi running to our house is, is uh, broken somewhere along between the post and the house. So he hooked it up anyway and we have, we can use WhatsApp and other apps and text, but you can't call. Internet is slow as molasses. So we have to wait until after Christmas before we have that. But we kind of gotten used to it now. Gabe wanted to call this thing Raspberry, which I think is quite fitting. Raspberry seems like it would fit an old janky tractor. This is a brand new one. I don't often buy new stuff, very rarely. Um, I did look around at um, Kubota. I looked around at used stuff and there was just nothing used. It looked really ratched. And I was like, you know what? I don't want to be fixing it. I deserve to get something nice that works. I work hard for that. So we went and splurged. The Mahindra tractor is a Mitsubishi engine which is good, Japanese. Um, it's very, very popular in like places like India and all those places, but it doesn't have the marketing behind it that Kubota has. So most people lean on Kubota, but for this you get for much less money, well, yeah, for a bit less money, you get more tractor for less money. Um, and uh, the reviews have been great. So I'm excited, really excited. The saga continues to tell us. I'm working away here on my digger, my brand new tractor, having fun. And I see this fluorescent jacket in the distance. Tell us it's already long gone. We won't be back till next Friday. And I run up there and they're like with their, they're in the background look, with the big boom truck. They're like, you know what? We're the local guys. We're gonna give you fiber tonight. I'm like, come on. They said, yeah, don't worry about it, man. We'll take care of you. And everyone I've dealt with from tow truck drivers the local Talos guys just been the nicest guys. Love it so far. Beautiful. Well, <laughs> I couldn't resist it. I just went for it here. And um, this tractor is so far really impressed me. Um, the front loader capability, I found it, figured out how to put it in four wheel drive. Just push this big pile of earth, no problem. Um, I use the backhoe to pull up a root here. With small machines, you have to get creative. Even with big machines, there's always a bigger machine. So you, when I was on Gambia, we were pulling out huge tree roots and the machine I had was mid, like huge compared to this, it was an excavator. But still, a huge, huge one, we just picked that up and moved it over with a small excavator. I had to get creative and roll the stump and carefully, you know, dig around it and work at it and work at it. Same thing with this. The backhoe is not super powerful, but if you're, if you follow the root down and then pull it up there, you know, you're not going to just grab it in one big scoop. Um, it does the job. 
I'll tell you what, huge rats ran out of here. This is the compost that they've used for the greenhouses and everything. And um, there was some big rat homes in there for sure that I just turned on their head. And these, I just hope, I don't know where they're gonna relocate. That's the problem. Rats run away, I find a new place to live. It might not be where you hope it was. Um, they're probably trying to get into the chicken house or something. Anyway, my hand is freezing cold. I am gonna call it a day. Today, what, is it more snow? Yeah. Yeah. How much? Uh, about f five inches. Like. Come on, come on. Come on. Crazy. Very hungry birds. Please fill our breakfast can. Amelia, how are the animals? They're good. We have a lot of frozen water things. It was quite a kerfuffle to get Toast not to get out of his hutch. We had to put wood there, and Gabe was like holding down the fort while I... Big drama, hey? Yeah. Big drama on the farm? Yeah. What do you think, Gabe? You look really happy about things. Can't find your gloves? No, the ones that you gave me, they don't put on my coat. Uh, well, Mum's up now, so you can that sorted. Also, Dad, could yep. you do, um, could you cut, there's a string for the goat's hay. Grandma had to keep, um, had to keep, like, breaking it and to get hay for the goats. So we need to cut that string so we can get more hay. Okay. Okay. Nice. Hard work, hey, playing. to make a snowman. Don't you throw a snowball at me. Ah. I love your belt. 